Okay, so in this video, we are going to create some security groups so that our servers can be accessible as we need them to be. Predominantly, that means our public web server will be accessible from the outside internet and our private server, the one that we're calling worker, is not accessible from the public internet, but can be SSH'd into. Now, I don't want it to be SSH'd into from the public internet and actually it can't be in its current setup. So we'll log into our publicly accessible web server and use that as a jump host to SSH into that private server, the worker server. Okay, so the one security group that we were using before is this default one, which is the default for this VPC. It gets created automatically. So let's click into that and we'll see there's inbound rules and outbound rules. Inbound rules allows inbound traffic, all uh, protocols, all ports, all traffic, if the source is another resource that uses that same security group. Outbound rules allows for anything, any outbound uh, to any destination, all ports, all protocols, etc. So uh, what makes up a security group is two or three things, I suppose, a security group itself, and then the inbound rules and the outbound rules. So that's two different resources in Terraform, the security group itself and the rules that we apply to the security group. So we can go ahead and see what we are going to make. And it'll be kind of similar to what we have here. I have one named SSH testing that I created manually. It allows port 22 traffic only from the outside world. And HTTP testing, which has a few rules here, it allows uh, external traffic, web traffic into the server. We can see here it has a port 80 on IPv4 and port 443 for SSL traffic on IPv4 from all locations and also IPv6 from all locations. Okay, so we are gonna make two security groups, one for public network traffic and one for private network traffic. And we'll see how that looks inside of Terraform. Now, where are we going to do this? I think I'm actually gonna do it inside of the VPC module because we might end up using these security groups for other things that aren't specific to the EC2 module. So we'll create them in the VPC module for now. I'm gonna make a new file in here and call it security.tf. And we can go ahead and define some security groups. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is start with one called, start with a section called public security groups. Now let's head over to the browser here and just look at the resource AWS security group that we're going to create. An example usage is a security group and you can actually inline in the security group to find the ingress, which is incoming traffic and the egress, which is outgoing traffic inline in the security group. So technically I only need to define two resources and just define as many ingress and egress rules as I want. But if you might remember, I said that if you can do this within Terraform, but you have the ability to actually segment these out, like we did with the Elastic IP address, that you should do that. And doing that here will also uh, reduce the risk of running into weird issues. So what we wanna do here is actually create an AWS security group with the needed information, but we're not gonna define the ingress and egress rules here. We're gonna do that separately. Now, I've scrolled down here into the resources for AWS. We have security group and security group rule. So let's go ahead and see the security group rule. And we can see the example usage is that the security group rule is ingress or egress. And you have the port ranges and the protocol and the cider blocks and all that good stuff. And a security group ID. So we can assign this rule to a specific security group. Okay, so that's what you're going to do. We're going to define two security groups. And then each security group is going to have a certain amount of rules as we need them some for ingress and some for egress. So let's go ahead and see what that looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and paste in a definition for the AWS security group, and we're gonna name it public within our Terraform configuration. And the actual name that we see from the UI will be the Cloudcast Infrastructure Environment Public Security Group. The security group is gonna have a description of public internet access. The VPC ID that is related to is our VPC because security groups are specific to a VPC. And then we're just going to tag it with some tags. Uh, same name. The role here is public, all class IO, all the good stuff. Okay, so this security group has no rules, so we need to create some. Now, this is the public network traffic one, so I want a few rules. Uh, for ingress, incoming traffic, I want to allow port 22, port 80, and port 443. So we're going to have three separate rules. And I'm actually going to start with outgoing traffic because we're just going to do one rule for outgoing, and that's going to allow all traffic. So let's go ahead and paste that. We're going to call it AWS security group rule. That's not the name. That's just the resource type. We're going to call it public outbound. It's going to be a type egress from port zero to port zero means all IP addresses and protocol of negative one means all protocols. And the cider block here is all IPv4 addresses. I'm not going to bother the IPv6 in this case. And we're going to assign it to the security group that we created above that is named public. So this is going to allow all outbound traffic unrestricted. Next, I'm going to define 
inbound rules, ingress rules for the security group, and we're going to have three rules. One will be SSH traffic and port 22, and then there will be two for web traffic on port 80 and port 443. I'll go ahead and paste those in, and we can scroll up here to see what they are. So I believe this is our egress. Yep, so we have ingress from and to is the same thing, right? So we don't have a port range here. It's just one specific port, but that's our notation for uh, how Terraform wants it. We named this public inbound SSH, if it wasn't clear. The protocol is going to be TCP because that's the protocol that SSH works on. We're going to allow it from all locations currently because this is a public uh, internet-facing server. And in our case, I'm going to allow SSH traffic in from any location. Now, there are other things you might want to do, like use AWS's uh, SSM tool to be able to effectively SSH into a server without actually exposing SSH to the outside internet. But that's not the point of this uh, video course right now. We're just learning Terraform. So let's just go ahead with this rule for now. And of course, we're going to add it to the security group that we created above. And then we have two, public in HTTP, public in HTTPS. It's going to be the exact same thing, except it's port 80 and port 443 for these to allow in uh, HTTP and HTTPS traffic to the server. OK, next, let's define our private security groups, or security group in this case, singular. And actually, that reminds me up here, I'll make that singular too, just to be consistent. OK, this one I'll go through a little faster. Scroll all the way back up to private security group. We have one the same private. The name is private SG for the same VPC, private internet access. OK, so that's the security group. And then we have the same uh, number of rules, I believe. Let's actually look. I forget. Egress is going to be the same thing. Allow all traffic from all ports uh, to all protocols. The inbound traffic is more interesting. Uh, the inbound traffic here, OK, this is uh, a little bit different and more interesting. It's the ingress traffic is going to allow all ports effectively. So from port 0 to the maximum port, 65535, all protocols. and Instead of a cider block of all traffic from the outside world, it's just going to say we are going to allow traffic from the IP address range of our VPC. In other words, any server in the private network is going to be able to communicate to the server on any port and any protocol uh, as long as it's from within our private network. So we're going to effectively trust all servers in our private network. Whether or not you want to do that is completely up to you, and you might have use cases to not do that. But this is kind of a decent starting point because it makes it simpler. And in fact, that is actually the only inbound rule for our private network traffic for now. OK, so we have created a new security.tf file. We've created two security groups. We've added some rules to each group that makes sense for our use case for now. Now we can use this VPC outputs and output our security group IDs so that we can use those in other places. There's going to be two new outputs for that. We're going to call it security group public and security group private. And we're just going to give ourselves the ID of the public security group and the private security group that we created here. OK, so those are outputs to the VPC module. How are we going to use them? In our cloudcast.tf file, we have our app server and our worker server. And they need some security groups that are not the default here. So we only have one security group. This is going to be public for the web server, right? And for the worker server, we want it private. So instead of this default one that we hard coded, private. OK, let's see what happens here. OK, eight to add, two to change. So the eight to add is going to be our security groups and our security group rules. So the rule one, rule two, rule three, rule four, rule five, rule six, and then a security group one. Security group two, so that's the eight items to add. And then the things to change will be the two, because we have two servers running, and each is going to get a new security group ID. And we don't know the IDs yet, because we have to create the security groups first. So Terraform is going to be smart enough to create the security groups first, and then add those to the server, since it won't know the security group ID until it creates them. Let's go ahead and apply this. OK, so yes, that was done pretty quickly. Let's go ahead and head over to our browser. I'll close up these docs. and. We'll refresh our security group section. We'll see some two new ones that have names, private and public. So the public has inbound rules, just as we suspect, port 22, 80, and 443. Private is uh, all protocols, all ports, all traffic, only from within the private network. So let's go ahead and head to our EC2 servers. See the running servers, our web server is going to have a security. It's going to be in our new security group named Cloudcast staging public, just like we suspect. And the worker one is going to have that new one. Also, that only allows traffic inbound from within the private network. Great. Perfect. 
So let's go ahead and see if we can see anything in our public IP address here. We can, and it's just a PHP code that is reporting the host name of the server. And then I don't believe we can actually SSH into the server just yet because I'm pretty sure we have not given it a key when we created this. We didn't define which key to use. And instance details, key pair name is blank, which means there's no SSH key installed on the server, which means I can't actually SSH into it to show you that. But if we had a key there, it would work. But we can see that our servers have the security groups that we want. So we are in a good position to move on for now.